Good morning. Welcome to my vlog today. I thought I would do a day in the life. Um, Told I just take you along with me. I don't have anything super exciting planned. I um yeah, but I thought hey, let's bring you along. I haven't done a vlog in a while. Um, I've been in and out of town, and I'm finally just like in town until I start work. So maybe I'll do a few more of these because I mean I actually really like watching these and I like. Um, taking you along it's just it's been crazy this summer which is a good thing but I'm also really glad to be home and yeah so I am I had a really hard time falling asleep um although I didn't go very far the time change wasn't like huge like sometimes it kicks my ass that jet lag so I had a really hard time falling asleep and maybe until like one or two o'clock in the morning and then I woke up at 6 30 and I had to like force myself when I woke up to like stay up um I just got a cup of coffee and I've been sitting here and relaxing I don't have to be anywhere for a little while um but yeah yesterday mm. how cute is that cup right um I spent the majority of the day um clean not cleaning but unpacking which is just the worst i hate i hate unpacking um but i kind of just got through that and yeah so one thing on the agenda is grocery shopping i don't know how i made it well i do i made it through yesterday with literally nothing in my refrigerator slash cover like i literally don't have any food um luckily my neighbor who um made sure like everything was safe and i asked her to turn on the porch light um when i got home because i didn't get home until like one in the morning so um she left me some food so that was great and i went out to lunch with some co-workers like old co-workers friends yesterday so i was able to manage like not going to the grocery store just because in our town right now I think I vlogged about it last year is Fiesta so the craziness of this town is in like full swing and even just going downtown for lunch yesterday like the parking garage was so crazy like people are driving like crazy because we live in a town with a lot of one-way streets and t there was a you could just tell there was a lot of tourists and which is fine but like going in that area if you don't have to is a good thing so <laughs> we actually have to head that way we're gonna go at 9 30 there's a huge parade today the like biggest equestrian parade in the united states um and i'm not partaking in any really fiesta stuff this year although it's huge and i was a part of it for so much of my life as a flamenco dancer um just getting home from vacation and just like dealing with that kind of everyday stuff and not being home um i just this year which is like the first year i just have not really done a lot of fiesta like shenanigans so usually i go to the parade today but i'm just you know i've got a lot to do and i want to get it done early before downtown gets crazy um so we have to head downtown today oh, twice the grocery store that i like is downtown i live in the downtown area which makes it worse um if you want to go anywhere around here but we're gonna head to the opposite side of town this morning also um to do some grocery shopping so i was going to take you along um let's see what time is it right now i don't know oh here's my phone it's like a long intro of like nothing right it's 7 43 i told my mom i'd be at her house at 9 15 so i'm just gonna enjoy my coffee watch a few youtube videos um i didn't vlog as much as i wanted to in hawaii it's just we did just a lot of relaxing like by the pool we did a few outings like to grab food and stuff like that but most of the time we just relaxed and it was so nice to just kind of unplug a little bit but i did film a little bit so i'm gonna insert that right now so you can kind of see how my hawaii vacation was enjoy Wearing light shoes, walking down the shore, diving head first down to the ocean floor. 
Or your dark brown eyes Reflect fireflies Living bright nights Getting me high on life It's a night to stay up late Things we have to do can wait We've got catching up to do So, I made it to so it has been a long day of travel leaving my house before 4 a.m. But I'm here. I just got the car rental. Let me just turn down the air, figuring that out. And my best friend Lindsay is just landed and I'm waiting for her to get her luggage and then I'm gonna pick her up. So I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna be here for a week and we have been here before. This is actually my third time in Kauai. Um, but we're excited to relax and have some fun and a little bit of adventure. So I'm gonna take you along with me this week. Take it to the We made it to Hawaii. It's been a long travel day, but this is our view. It's incredible. So we're gonna go grab a quick bite to eat just at the little terrace and have some appetizers, grab a drink, and call it an early night. We are both really tired from all the traveling today, so. Let's go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's what I wonder too. How's your drink? Good. Mine too. Mine's almost gone. The view is really pretty. Um, no, they look good. So we got, we shared. This place looks really good. It's the Kalua fried rice. So delicious. And then we sharing, what's this called again? Macadamia French toast. Nut, French toast. It's really good. Let's see, Lindsay's gonna try it first. Oh yeah, let me see what I think. It's okay. Thank you. Let's see. Is it good? So good. The fried rice is so good. That's what we try to recommend. So we're excited. First meal, real meal, inside the hotel. So we are just hanging out at the beach and it's so nice here. The weather is like not too hot. Um, perfect. And yeah, we just got out of the, kind of like a pool. They have this like salt water lagoon. It's gorgeous and it's so comfy. And this resort isn't really that crowded. We're staying at the Grand Hyatt, and yeah, so I'm here. And this is our little setup. Taking up a lot of chairs. And Lindsay is getting dried off in the sun. Linz, Linz, Bowser. I wanted you to wave. I was waving to you. This is for the vlog. So Lindsay and I, mostly Lindsay, has set up a cheese train for the birds. Oh my, that's so much. Okay, let's wait to see. 
when the birds come. This is just gonna sit here like this. Yeah, I think it would come back, you know. You would think. Stop eating my M&M's! Stop calling them all. Those are mine. <laughs> you picked those out. These are so good. I don't know. He just took one. Oh, yeah. So one bird came. Maybe it's gonna tell his bird friends. Um. Okay. You got lily coin mustard. No, yeah, mango relish. And then mild. And mild. Show me the inside. That's what it looks like. Whoa, whoa. Get a frame. Okay, go. Is it good? Do you like to pull a sausage? Just taste like a regular hot dog. Yeah. Okay, so I got spicy. I got the pineapple relish. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's done. Mm -hmm. It's like the sweet with the like hot doggy. Yeah. That's real good. Cool the dog for the win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Where's mine? What kind of ice cream did you get? Excuse me. But in mine. Oh! That's good. Mmm. That's so good. It's long lines day three. Where are we at? What's it called? Little fish? Little fish. Little fish. They're grabbing breakfast. Do you want to know I wore this dress last night in the vlog? So, yeah, so Lindsay wore that dress. I'm not the only one. Repeat. Yeah, repeat I'm offender. To be like you. Exactly. It's early. But it's a long line. But this place is so cute. I forgot to mention last night. I think that the ice cream place we went to, Lappert's, so delicious. So, so good. Next time, maybe no, like Sunday. Maybe, maybe we're gonna get, we're gonna go back. And that puka dog, Lindsay already wants to go for lunch again today. She loves the puka dog. Go. Yeah, puka dogs. We really like. We may one day Daily pastry today. We've got a green blueberry cream cheese turnover, as well as a pineapple and coconut turnover, and then we also have a pear ginger chocolate stuff. Oh, look at the green! Really good. Uh, should I get one? Yeah. Which one though? Yeah, we'll do the pineapple turnover, pineapple coconut turnover. That sounds good. Just the one. Just one, yeah. And the drink. The 12 ounces a house cup. Yeah. The blueberry. Okay, taste it. That's the blueberry one. We didn't order that one. Taste it. You could taste it. Oh, this one's like softer. I mean, look at this one. We had little. Whoa. Well, I want to see it. I gotta go get my food now. Mmm, that's good. Okay, Lindsay got the, what is it? It's a breakfast bagel. It has a frittata, it has bacon, and, and tomatoes, and cream cheese. It looks good. Okay, try it. It does look good, actually. What kind of bagel is it on everything? Is it good? 
Lindsay's been talking about for the last 24 hours. It was super good. <laughs> Okay, I'm at Michael's and found a few things for work, which is exciting. But what I did notice too, which is a little bit depressing, is I mean, they have all their fall stuff out. That is crazy to me. It's just August. Oh, but I guess that's the way it goes. Look at my picture hangers. Also. Anyway. Mom. Hey, right here. Did you find what you needed? Oh. Well, I need something like this for work. It's $30, and you can't even use a coupon though. Can't use a coupon? No, because it's an everyday value. It's not even a teacher discount. Did you ask? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Because I want to be able to put all like, my social stories and stuff like that in here. That's nice. Then I found this for 60% off. What's your 60% off? Um, it never says beauty items, 60% off over there. Oh, look at this clearance. Christmas stuff. That's taking it too far. That's too much, all that Christmas stuff. Alright, let's go see what we can find. It is. <laughs> I have been everywhere. Michael's, Costco, Trader Joe's, and Ralph's. And I think I've got everything I need. I mean, I just have to say, I couldn't even vlog that much. Everything was like, oh, I'm awful. Super crowded. There is so much traffic and I went shopping with my mom so I just dropped her off at the house, her house, and I'm on like rushing to get home because the parade is ending and I live in like the thick of it, like not right in the middle but like towards like the area and the parade is beginning to uh, like trickle down this way and um, yeah, I need to get home and stay there. My plan for the rest of the day, oh gosh, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys. You'll see the parades going by right now. So basically this kind of turnover street where my mom's at is where, um, here come the horses. And I think I'm having to wait till they turn. because all the streets are blocked. And there they go, I'll try and zoom in for you so you can see Oliva, you get a first hand appearance at the parade. There it goes, largest equestrian parade. Santa Barbara's old Spanish days. Look, I didn't even have to go and wait and sit in the sun for hours. Like first row experience. I just got talked to by the cop and says you may be here for a little while because they don't want any cars going through because the horses get spooked. So maybe well. I was really hoping to miss it. And didn't do so well. So the cop was really nice. He said, we'll try and get you through. He said, of course, he said, it hasn't been a problem until right now, like when I pulled up. Oh, perfect. So. So. Um, yeah. But it's like insanely crazy. So I'm getting through and there's horses. Oh my god. They said I could go. No. Sorry if you're shaking a little. Lily was like screaming at me. I'm like the cops said I could go. 
dogs are going. You can like watch, you can see the horses. Now I think there's some like navy people going by. You'll see them in the window, see? Okay, so I finally made it home and I'm tired. <laughs> the jet lag is real. Um, I, oh gosh, but I refuse to take a nap. I don't usually take naps anyway, um, but I like, I really wanna like sit down and relax for maybe a little bit, but I left my house in shambles, you guys. <sighs> shambles, like, let, let me show you. Um, no bed made. That like never happens in my house. Um, <laughs> morning coffee, morning oatmeal, a Yeti, which I need to drink water. These are, I came home in between a few stores to drop stuff off. So here are remnants of things that I have purchased. I got this, you guys, at Michael's. I think it was $29.99 or $26, something like that. It was 60% off. And, and then I used my teacher discount was 15% off. This came out to like $10. I am so excited. I don't like the black in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. I got some scented markers. These are actually for my college students. I teach um, at the college level as a professor and we need markers. And so they were like four bucks. I also picked up this um, at Costco. I think it was under $20. It was on sale. Perfect for teachers. Um, I needed to have one in my desk. The other one is just like that we have at work is really one of those handheld and this is just a lot easier. Um, what did I pick up? Just show you really quickly. I, got, I really like the Dave's 21 bread. I wanted to try the Neapolitan Jojo's apricots. I love these dried hibiscus flowers um, from Trader Joe's. Um, let me show you what else I got. Just a quick little haul. Eggs from Costco. I'm trying these chicken thighs. They're the shawarma chicken thighs from um, Trader Joe's. I picked up blueberries and raspberries at Costco. Um, cauliflower and back there is their sugar snap peas. I like the Applegate oven roasted turkey and the reduced fat Swiss cheese. I love cottage cheese to go with the berries. I also picked up, I really like this for the snap peas and the cauliflower. I really like this blue cheese and roasted pecan dip. That's just so good. It's going to eat my veggies. Um, I also picked up, I was like sitting on the floor, picked up some Honey Nut Cheerios because that sounded good. Some lettuce for an Olive Garden salad which also includes Parmesan cheese. I picked up some salami to go with the bread. Um, I love those sandwich. These are like the best pickles. If you've not tried them, the refrigerator section, the kosher dill Clausen sandwich slices. They're the only pickles I'll eat. Um, Italian dressing, a red onion. I picked up a few of these like I'm going to actually have one for lunch right now. These like Hillshire, I have a coupon for them with cheese and bread. I just thought that'd be nice. Like today, like I've got so much to do. Um, I don't really have time to stop and eat. Um, I also picked up the movie. I feel pretty while I am doing stuff. <laughs> oh, a thing of Annie's mac and cheese. This was actually at our Ralph's. I don't know if you guys have this. It's like free Friday and every Friday they have a free item um, that you can pick up. And so this was the free item. So I picked that up. I needed mayonnaise. Um, I put radishes in my salad. I also like them to dip in that dip I showed you and some olive slices. So that's picked up at Ralph's. I showed you pretty much everything we got at Trader Joe's. I got a few other things. Um, I've got this chicken at Chow Main, low fat, this is really good, I've been craving Chow Main. Um, Judy from It's Judy Time has said that these mushrooms are really good from Trader Joe's, so I thought I'd try them. I've got eggs and I can put them in an omelet maybe with some cheese. And then I picked up some turkey bolognese that just, um, just sauce. It's really good over, I like it over zucchini, so zucchini noodles. 
Um, yeah, so that is what I'm dealing with. Let's see. Let's open up these packages. I actually don't have any idea what they actually are. This is the Orbe. Yeah. Um, it's the dry shampoo and texturizing spray. I love Orbe. Um, it's what my hairdresser uses, and it, it was a really good deal for anniversary. But I really have no idea of what this is. So cute. So I picked up this Herschel bag. I thought it could be possibly like a carry-on bag, but it is really small for like a carry-on bag. But this is actually a perfect ooh, gym bag. So I knew it was like really inexpensive. Um, really cute though. This will be perfect for the gym or something. That literally came like overnight. That is crazy. So crazy. I ordered it like not too long ago, like on the plane. So that's why I didn't know what that was. So my jo my job is to get things in my life in order. Um, I have these whole area of clothing from the anniversary sale and so I did most of it online shopping so I need to figure out like what I'm keeping what I'm taking back I've already done a already take back I mean we'll see and then I left my house my bathroom like this this is where that thing that I just bought is going to go um these just kind of take up a lot of room so I wanted one thing that I could just like put stuff in and it wouldn't be so like ugh, you know so as you can see, everything is just, it's, it's, the trash is overflowing. There's a lot to be done. And so I, I'm going to clean this up. Uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit or what it looks like when I'm done. I mean, I record the whole thing, but literally it's going to take me a little while. So I'm going to throw on some YouTube videos and do a cleanup because my goal is by tonight that everything is in its place where it's supposed to be and that tomorrow I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff, so I'm going to get to it. Okay, I am done cleaning, and that was quite the process. It probably took me close to four hours, which probably should have been done in like maybe an hour and in all honesty this is probably the most boring vlog ever because i didn't show you that much but because it would have watched me put like one thing away and then sit on the couch one thing away and then sit on the couch and most of the time i'm so efficient i'm so efficient at cleaning and keeping things clean and i like i like it and today i just didn't have the motivation and that is life um, I gave myself to five o'clock. It's just about five o'clock right now. I am exhausted. I felt like that was the hardest thing I've ever done. And you know, I, I got what I needed to done so that tomorrow morning, um, it'll be Saturday. I can just relax and feel like the, the majority of things are done. So just so you can kind of see is I put stuff away. I made the bed. I dusted really lightly. Dishes are done. Um, I cleaned the fridge, like, like cleaned it all, put everything away. It looks like I actually live here now. Same thing. Same thing with the cupboard. You guys, I'm not super organized, but this is what went down. I have some stuff that I need to take to my mom's house. I take this to my mom's house, to the garage. I vacuumed, um, like put the shoe away. I was just sitting right there. That's why the tables, I mean the pillows all messed up. Cleaned off my desk area. I did not get to the stack of Norton's anniversary stuff. So that's gonna be an another day going through and deciding what I'm going to keep. Um, kitchen got, uh, kitchen, bathroom got cleaned. I put up, I think you guys saw me put up this. I just used the top portion and it worked out perfectly. I'm soaking a bra in there, but I cleaned down the counters and stuff like that. You guys may look 
like I got things accomplished but real life is also you know um like all my medications after my trip just got thrown up there like this can't even close like it's dirty like and you're probably thinking that looks like fine and it, it is um my hair drawer I just like threw stuff in I got this from the anniversary sale you saw me unpack that I just threw that in there because I know I'm keeping that um this is don't even ask this is the bottom part of that apparatus that I'd like to put some stuff in <laughs> I can't even look like stuff has a thrown in here like this brush is like knocked over like all these things are just a disaster and you know this is real life like between traveling and house sitting and stuff like that like this just got way out of control so this is what I do out of sight out of mind I know I need to get to it I know that I know <laughs> no one needs to tell me I eventually will get to it probably next week but today I'm done and I'm going to sit on the couch I'm going I have a really bad headache um the jet lag is real again I talked to my best friend she is feeling the same way so it's not just me Take to my booty this year um, I'm gonna watch a movie and just relax have dinner I'm probably gonna just jump in the shower in about 20 minutes maybe do a quick face mask and then jump in the shower and just relax I think I need it I've been busy today and shopping getting stuff done cleaning and stuff like that so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this kind of boring vlog um, I'm gonna do it again shortly so I'd like I like watching daily vlogs and I like to do it more often so if you'd like to see more of my everyday life although not that entertaining um, give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you like watching these kind of things it will definitely take you along more often so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye